Hello guys, Lincoln here and today I thought it was time to make a short tier list. I'm going to list the top 11 heroes when it comes to arena PvP. I did a tier list like a month or so ago, um, listing uh, the strongest heroes for PvP, but that was actually before arena uh, really kicked in. And um, I also mentioned in one of my previous videos that we need to separate the PvP uh, it's a big difference if you want to fight opponents that, uh, like in mansions, where you want to fight several waves, then you want some strong supporters and heals, and like the Fangrim team combo. While when you do arena, that's not as interesting, you just want to beat the strongest opponents you can. So that's when some other heroes kick in, and that's what we're going to discuss today, basically. I managed to get 8th position on this arena season. I was at best at 4th position, but you get shot down from time to time, so it goes up and down a lot. But uh, I am a total free-to-play player. I haven't spent anything on this game for over a year now. And it uh, goes quite well, considering this is the server, the merged server with the 12 strongest and oldest servers merged into one. And... Uh, I usually try to do revenge on everyone that attacks me and actually goes fine for everyone except one player and that's actually the top player right now and um, I will explain that maybe in some other video but I don't want to be too specific against specific players on how to do things. This is my problem as well since I actually can do revenge against everyone and I, it's almost 100% certain win because there's no combo that you can't beat even if they have, even if they have a lot stronger heroes than you. There's always a good combo that can beat that combination, which is good that you don't only have one like I win team that you always use. So you can actually switch around some, uh, but you need to know which heroes to use to counter the opponents. And um, it is somewhat of a problem if I discuss that too much. I'm, I think I want to do it, but I will do it, I would say some parts at the time so it doesn't break the PvP game entirely as well because it's quite easy when you know how to do some of these things. But let's get straight to the PvP heroes that you want for Arena. You want Magla, she's always been a top one player even when she's nerfed and she got some really hard nerfs now. She only get 80 energy instead of 100 from the start and um, she has reduction of her stun uh, skill with 10% but I'm still considering her to be a really, really strong hero. Exactly how strong she will be now that she has that nerf, hard to tell, but I would still guess she's in the top 10 heroes in Arena and in PvP then. Uh, but what I want to mention as well, since we have the Magla hero that's so strong, you need a way to counter Magla, and there's two heroes that's really good at this. And the one that I want to uh, mention today, I can actually man mention both. The second one is Dorian, since you want to try to hook and grab Magla, if you manage to kill her, you win. That's how it's been before, before the nerfs. Uh, but the second one is actually Nicole Lambda, and uh, I think a lot of players have underestimated Nicole Lambda. Everyone thinks it's all about the, getting the en extra energy from her and removing poison, bleeding, maybe perhaps. But what makes this hero really OP. It's actually her last ability, the Shun by Science, and you want to max this ability up if you can for Arena. She is, since she basically can counter Magla entirely with uh, just putting her in the proper positions, she is one of the best heroes in the game. And basically what you want to do, uh, and this is actually quite game busting material but let's stop at just mentioning that you have every third basic attack Nicole prevents the furthest enemy from costing ultimate abilities for three and a half seconds if you have Magla in the front right corner you put Nicole Lambda in your left front uh, front left corner and when she starts attacking it doesn't matter what opponent it is even if she has Ulfuri against her don't be afraid for that if you have Fangrim you will manage to uh, mute and silence Magla before Ulfuria gets to Nicole and can kill her. And then you have Fangrim that will remove 
Ulfuria from Nicole, so she can actually stand there quite comfortable uh, against someone like Ulfuria. Might be harder if it's someone like Sadaharo that might one shot her, but against Ulfuria, that's usually in the other opposing corner. If you have Maglo on one side, you usually have Ulfuria on the second side. Well, then you can just comfortably put Nicole Lambda against Ulfuria and she will silence Magla easily. So, really, really strong hero for PvP. The third one will be Fangrim. This is the best one for the waves in PvP when you fight mansions. And uh, he hasn't gotten any nerfs yet. As you can see, I actually managed to level him quite high in his abilities. He's maxed out on his ultimate ability for uh, Harbingers as well. It works fine with those 20% extra damage. That's quite nice. And then you have the most important passive ability where you want to reduce the attack speed of your opponents and he can do that with up to 50%. So if you manage to get him, get the tokens, go for it. If you wonder how I managed to do this without paying anything, well I've uh, always been saving my orbs for this guy and I actually won, no I got second place on one of the events so I got quite a lot of tokens that way as well. But this is basically one of the only heroes I've been going for when it comes to legendary heroes as well. But uh, you have that uh, Vortex thing, everyone knows about this, don't have to mention it. He can stop basically every melee hero, so of course he will be really strong. You need to be careful if you're fighting an uh, anti-Fangrim team, that means Rangers, well then you might need to watch uh, out for, for that basically. Fourth hero I would want to mention is Dorian. He's such a solid hero for arena pvp as you can see, you will be able to see how your opponents are located where the heroes are located then you can put dorian where you want to hook and grab the hero you want to kill first um, so really solid since you can control the fight so easily with this guy and uh, then you have the anti ranger no well anti fangrim team and that's two nukers. You have Daeva, really solid for the as an anti Fangrim team. She has an incredible range and can shoot from really far, so she's kind of nice with that. Dorian will always hook this one if he can, because since she has such a long range, she will be further away than more opponents. Um, so that's good to know. And then you have Isara. Don't underestimate this one. This is an uncommon hero, but probably beat every legendary hero in the game except maybe the newest heroes level this one up i would say uh, i'm really sad i i i have this is the hero that i need to get to max as fast as possible and just start pushing those abilities but that will take some time as you can see this is my weakness this is my weak spot isara is if we check the opponents here that actually got top 10 position. Everyone I can do revenge against and comfortably kill them except Reno because Reno has an insane Isara that basically one shoots my team every time. So um, check that hero out. I would always go for Isara if I would start over from the beginning. This is a really strong hero and you need werewolf uh, nukers as well for the dungeons so go for this one she's really really strong and besides her strength she has the reduction of attack speed which is really important for pvp on the well next spot i would actually say we have ulfuria she's not as high as before since she's gotten that nerf now she will die once her health goes to one and the time has gone out expired so she can't heal up again um, still okay for pvp arena so that's why she's here in the team for the waves when fighting in mansions she will be a lot worse than before since you won't be able to heal her up as easy she will just die within those five seconds after those five seconds but being able to uh, not die for those five seconds really good ability of course she will still be in the top 11 heroes then you have two assassins you will always see here 
you have Sadaharo, even though whoop, even though he's gotten some nerves, but he is really strong. But I see a lot of players using Sadaharo instead of Lucretia. But um, I would want you to actually start checking this assassin out. If you fight Lucretia against Sadaharu, and if he doesn't manage to one-shot Lucretia, they usually fight against each other. Well, her ultimate will kill Sadaharu. At the same time, Sadaharu will kill Lucretia. But the bonus thing with her is that you will actually get two additional hits on some other enemies and might actually kill them, besides killing Sadaharu. So when you have Sadaharu against Lucretia, if it's not too big difference in power, they will kill uh, each other, but Lucretia will as well do some extra damage on two other opponents. With that said, yes, Sadaharu can put on some poisons as well while he hits Lucretia, but usually uh, you get more bang for the Lucretia attack. So check that out. She might actually, in many cases, be stronger than Sadaharu when they fight against each other. So try it. Try it out. Uh, and if she survives the attack with her ultimate, she will uh, as well heal up since her ability will give her some lifesteal abilities as well. Then you have Birsha. Birsha and Dorian, those are basically the two heroes that can control the gameplay a lot more since they can uh, they have some specific abilities. Dorian with his hook skill and Birsha running forward is... Uh, really interesting as well so uh, this one Bishop dashes to his target whenever uh, not in melee range so he can um, do some uh, really fast attacks uh, this way if you want to uh, get to the heroes before they start using the fangrim vortex or other abilities and then i will mention still Croix, La Croix. So we have a lot of supporters still on the top 11 heroes. Him together with uh, Fangrim, still a fantastic combo and really good for PvP. And uh, the thing that he can as well uh, mute his opponents to do ultimates is insanely strong. And um, if you're lucky, I might have sometimes fight, uh, uh, fought teams that has the exact same mirror setup as me and I have a, a lot stronger but depending on when the vortex is hit and if he if your opponent even if he's weaker but get the silence on you before you do in some cases you can actually lose against a lot weaker opponents so and that's thanks to Lacroix so he's still really really good and basically this is all the heroes that uh, you will see in the top PvP on our server. I won't actually, I got tired of mentioning Oscoth. I mentioned him many times because I've heard so many uh, saying he's really good for PvP. But uh, honestly not good enough on our server at least. I never see him on the top, uh, top 20 positions. So I would uh, absolutely rather go for Daeva or Isara than Oscoth. And um, there's basically no other hero here that you need to do really well. With this combo setup, you might actually be able to beat any of the opponents that you meet. Kalil will be interesting to see if he, um, if he can do some good uh, counters against Fangru. We might actually start seeing him since he got some uh, new buffs from the last update. But uh, I'm not going to mention him still because, in my opinion, tanks are still terrible. So even though they try to buff the tanks, but they just don't work. So uh, that's, that's that for that. Um, and see you next time, guys. Bye.